uh, hello and welcome back to Alex and Jared Watch. Uh, Let's scare Jessica to death, right? And that's the name of the movie. Something about scaring Jessica, and what you're holding this so close to me. Why? So we can hear you. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know if you have to close or not. Yeah, I was about to say. But I, I but I did that mo- also to direct you to introduce it. Well, did I do a good job? Are you proud of me? No. So this was the second time I've seen it, but it's been so long, it might as well be the first time. I mean, I do remember some things, but I don't know. But it was Jared's first time seeing it. As usual. Okay, just because I don't watch all of the movies you have I I was not saying that as a bad thing, Jared. You don't gotta get so defensive all the time. I mean, I liked it. I enjoyed the Every movie. time, Jared, it always you're always like, I liked it, let's get an actual opinion. And uh, this is the actual opinion. Like, it's, 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 it's a good movie. I, I like, there's, I can't say anything bad about it. I'm not gonna, like, I'm not like this film critic that's just like, oh. <laughs> Then why are we making a video of us talking about a movie? Talk about it. Talk what do you about, like about it? Uh, I like... What don't you like about it? What I don't like about it is how abrasive the the uh, sound effects are. They're very... Wong in your face, like... And it, it, it makes me uncomfy, which I think's the point. So I guess it, it works well on that, but it's a little too loud. You seem to be bothered by Jessica. Jessica, I mean, she... she I, I guess, as anybody would be kind of like upset about a horror movie protagonist like you know i feel like she makes dumb choices but you but then again if i was but you seem to be upset about her extraness what do you mean her extraness she seemed because like whenever she started freaking out you were like oh because i don't know well first of all it's because like it was a little loud it hurt my ears a little what are you some kind of toddler oh loud noises Um, I think you know that loud noises don't bother me. It's just, ugh, it was piercing, you know? Anyhow, what I did like about this movie is it's very aesthetically pleasing. Let's talk, okay, uh, uh, I assume, I mean, first of all, I mean, if if, if, if you clicked on this, you probably already know what the movie's about. But it's about a lady named Jessica, recently taken out of a, out of the nut house... Going, moving to this small town to start a farm with her husband and mustache friend. But there's a lady already there uh, who's living there, and she's like, I don't just live in here. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I'm just living here. And uh, they're like, Well, you want to continue living here? And she's like, Golly, sure. But then there's, but then like the two guys are like, Hey, this other lady's pretty, pretty attractive. And so there's some tension there, and everybody in the town, are ca- it, there's no women in this town, and all the men are kind of jerky. They have like a, a huge posse, not a huge posse, but I, I like how they act like like bullies. Like, like you've come to the wrong neighborhood, bub. But there are a whole bunch of like old men, they're like, just like yeah, this is our town, no these fucking hippie assholes but then they like they they honestly like the bullies in like an 80s horror movie that would be like get out of here punk i'm gonna steal your bicycle but these are the og bullies yeah these these are the grandfathers of those bullies so uh i guess spoiler alert uh vampires i guess vampire thing but it could not like so, like, in my professional opinion, this movie is very good, but it is just a smidge away from being really good. It's like, it's, like, it's really, like, it's, it just, it's, it's, it, it there's something missing. you know what I mean? Yeah, there's just something missing, something that would, like, as Carl would say, bring it to the top of the level. <laughs> you know, like it's it's just there's something like I couldn't tell you what it is, but there's something not complete about it. It's a little too not ambiguous. 
Because it, yeah. it seems like the movie wants you to think, is it all in her head? But then there's too many things in the movie that it's like, well, it's clearly not in her head. Yeah. And I kind of like the idea of her, like, questioning, was like, oh, like, this isn't real. But then it actually being real and, like, you know. Like, I, I, I'd, I'd like them to take more of a solid angle on that, maybe. That <laughs> might improve it for me. But, um, I like, I do like the, uh, the vampires, question mark. Like, I, I like, I like how it's, like, not vampires, but it is. I like the voices she hears in her head the whole movie. Oh, that, I think that was, like, one of my favorite parts of it. Like, I, I enjoyed that thoroughly. So, like, stuff like that, and, like, the fact that, like, it looks like she killed her husband at the end. Like, it makes you think, oh, it's, like... It could be all in her head, but then, like, you see, uh, I don't know, like, then what happened to the mustache man? Like, could that, I mean, I don't think she would have, how could it be framed that she did that? And it's like, but what about all the creepy people in town? I, th- I don't know. I think, I think they just wanted to make, like, a vampire movie that's a little, like, a little, like, more crazy and more psychological. Yeah. More, uh, more experimental. But I think, like, they didn't, uh, they, they didn't go all the way. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Like. But, like, like, I mean, it's still good. Like, the surface level stuff is still good. But, I mean, not that I, like, oh, this movie didn't have enough subtext. Uh, so it's no, it, uh, I'm not, uh, I... I'm not gonna enjoy it. I mean, there's still subtext. You could, I mean, I'm sure some guy could probably, you know, a- analyze this movie into working it to be all in her head, but I don't know. Yeah. But then again, I mean, would that really be cool? Like, oh, it's all in her head. It's uh, like. Yeah, the, I always hate, like, movies that kind of, like, cheat out in that. It's like, oh, it's all a dream or something like that. It's just like, oh, then why were we watching this bullshit for, you know? an hour and a half or however long the movie is. I just, I like it when it's like, this is actually happening. But like, it could, they could have worked it to where it could have worked on both levels. Yeah. Where it could work as like, just like surface level spooky vampires, but also like, could be all in their head. Like, yeah. those two things can happen at the same time. But I don't think they did that. Yeah. But I do, I mean, unless, I mean, they could have not been going for that and could have been like, what if some crazy lady gets attacked by vampires? And that could have been all they were going for. In which case, well, I, I mean, that's Are what they, they really did. Are really vampires, though? Like, well... I mean, that was the only kind of word throw is like, some people say she's a vampire. Yeah, but then they kept, I mean, they, they keep going for their necks. Like, the only thing that makes it yeah, not but... really vampires is like, everybody has like a, has like a scar on them. Like, but I mean, uh, that could just be like, like they get I, cut and their blood gets sucked that way. Well, I just, I, I, I don't, I don't know. This is a dumb me thing, but like, I don't want to like categorize this as a vampire movie. This is a just a spooky movie where like the dead kind of like still live. I'm not saying it's and, like a... this. This Emily girl is like the you know head honcho of the dead because she drowned or something and never got married. I wouldn't say it's a vampire movie, but I mean, you know, I mean, I guess if you had to... If you had to put a label, like, yeah, sure, vampire. Like, if you were telling somebody to go see this movie, like, don't tell them, oh, this is a cool vampire movie, because, I mean, if... Like, You're going to disappoint If them. you go into this movie thinking, oh, I'm going to see vampires, they'll be like, wait a minute. Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah, it's just like, it's it's like if you went to... If you went to the dollar store and bought vampires, but it was, like, not vampires, you know, like... Sure fine vampires? It's sure fine vampires, but, you know, even I like sure fine... It's, it's great value vampires. But, you know, you still like vampires enough to be like, but I can still, stomach this. Well, I, I mean, I guess the town people aren't really spooky, they're more just kind of weird. Yeah, but, like, uh, the main lady is kind of, like, a little... She's a little she's creepy the, here and there. I do think the like most I do think that 
Uh, the uh, making her ginger is... But then again, she's not always ginger. Is it just me or did her gingerness kind of come and go? I mean, like, I couldn't, like, if you told me, like, that that girl was not ginger for the whole movie, I would not be surprised. It's, it, like, I'd say it, she's probably ginger for the whole movie. Because, like, that shot of her walking bad. out of the water all creepily. Well, her, I mean, her, her, her hair doesn't really look gingery. Her, her, her hair was wet, so, like, that, that can change. But just, like, the, like, uh, having her hair be red, like... And her skin being all pale when she's like sw- swimming in the water, it's very, it's a very striking image, I would I, say. I think that was my favorite part of the movie when she was like coming out of the water. Honestly, I was like, ooh, this is. But even the shots where she's like swimming in the water, and you just see like the 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 the, body. the red really sticks out, is what I'm saying. I agree, but like I'd say that's my favorite part of the movie. It's just it's very it's like very visually appealing. I'm like, ooh. I'd I say like the whole movie's pretty visually appealing. I'd say a lot of the movie is. I some of the stuff I'm like. Yeah, I'm a, like, I'm a I'm a big fan of the uh, '70s sheen, and I like and I like uh, shots of the woods. So this movie is already got a few points for me. I I like how uh, kind of. I mean, I know you were kind of might have been a little annoyed, but I kind of like how like quirky Jessica is. Like she just kind of acts kind of weird and like the way she talks and is like I mean I think that is part like, of the thing that annoyed me it's like oh that, that tree in the front yard is this kind of tree and the husband's just like I wish I was dead <laughs> <laughs> oh I like the contrast on that like it was just uh, like some of the conversations in this movie are just golden like um like that conversation you're talking about where they're laying in bed and say this is how I do he said you're a, you're sugar moi and he says I want you to go away <laughs> basically we should maybe shoot. you should see your doctor <laughs> <laughs> and then the, there's also that conversation between like Woody and Emily like whenever she's like do you like me now mm-hmm What's wrong, you? <laughs> should you? Shouldn't you get? A, should you wash that? Should you really wash that off? Yes. <laughs> like he just gives her like super straight answers. Like while well, just like I don't know. I found it very amusing. Which I could kind of like tie into like the not am, am, ambiguousness of the movie. Like everything seems very like this is obviously what it is. You know yeah. what I mean? Like even the things people are saying, and you hear like. The voice in Jessica's head is like, is like, uh, he likes her. Stuff like that. Yeah. Like, saying what she's feeling. Like, they just, I mean, I'm sure there is, like, subtext and things you could read into. But it seems like the, what the movie is is pretty obvious. But the, but it's good still. I'm just yeah. saying. I like, think... the movie seems like it should be deeper than it actually is. Yeah. But, but also it does like I feel like it. You know, there's nothing wrong with it for not like delving deeper. You know, like I guess it just kind of like the way they like frame it and like with the inner monologue from Jessica, it just like feels like ooh, this is art. But it's like wait a minute, this is exactly what it is. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, you good point. Like it kind of feels like they like took an artsy approach, but also was like they like took let's an, not, like let's not be too pretentious about this. They like took an artsy approach to a trashy movie. Yeah, and it turned out, you know, in the middle, like famous potatoes and uh, live free or die. Somewhere between those two, the truth of let's scare Jessica to death is yes, indeed. But I would say that I still like it. I mean, I, st- I mean, I like it too. I know I'm not. I you mean, get I'm mad not... at me every time I give that opinion. No, but it's like... not that I get mad at you for giving that opinion. I'm just saying, like, you know, we can just assume at this point you think everything's good. Well, like, you know, like, I d- <laughs> yeah, probably. I haven't found a movie that like didn't entertain me unless Astro Zombies. Yes, that's what that I was going to say. Astro Zombies. But who knows, a second watch might even change my opinion on that. You didn't even finish the first watch. That's what I'm saying. Who knows? I just... Maybe a second time will, like, replenish my... I have not seen a bad movie ever. 
In conclusion, let's scare Jessica to death is better than Astro Zombies. <laughs>